Coach? Morning, Dave. Thank you, Pat. Hey, no problem. Appreciate it. Big win by the Vikings last night. Uh, talk about that game a little bit. The Hunt School, you guys beat them by two. Uh, great way to start the weekend. Yeah, it, it was a very good win, Dave. That book, the kids did a magnificent job. Hunt School is a very, very good school, uh, very well coached, great athletes, and uh, some kind of way we were able to stay with them and then pull it out in the end. Talk about this team. I mean, you guys have really uh, kind of taken control of the Cape Atlantic League, at least you know up to this point. And uh, you know, you got two wins over Holy Spirit and uh, Lamar Thomas, kind of leading the way. Ashawn Santino, some real nice chemistry developing between these guys. Yeah, um, it really is. I, I think the kids are starting to believe in what I've been preaching. It's been a difficult task, but. Um, I think that we're getting a great contribution out of our bench. And then we have three or four sophomores who are playing significant roles right now, and they're doing a really nice job of, of supporting Lamar and Asia and, and, uh, and Munir. So with the senior leadership and, and, and the youth, they really have come together very well in the last couple weeks. Why, why wouldn't these guys be buying what you're selling, Coach? Man, you've been at this for, for 20-some-odd years. <laughs> it, it feels like 20 days, but it's only been 12. I'm just, I'm, I'm, <laughs> aged, I'm aged, Dave. I'm aged 20, <laughs> five years and 12. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess that's, that's always a struggle with high school kids is to, to kind of get them to, to buy into what you're selling. And, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you've been at it for, for a long time in terms of basketball and uh what, what is it about the high school level? Why does it take them a little bit longer to, to kind of get into the flow of things? Have, have you figured that out yet? I have, Dave, but that would be ever take up your whole show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just kids in general. Um, you know, they come up doing different things, either playing football or playing AAU, and they have to get reacclimated to the way we do things. And so it takes a little while, but... When it finally comes together, it it, it, it feels really good when, when they start to do it the way I like to see it done. Talking with Coach Gene Allen of the Atlantic City High School boys basketball team. Coach, battle by the Bay going on this weekend. A, a great slate of games today. Girls game start at 11 o'clock, Point Borough versus Ocean City. Uh, you got a nice matchup at 1230 Southern versus Eastern. Wildwood Catholic versus Middle at 2. Then you got some Philadelphia teams area team Sanford versus Ben Franklin at five and then uh CBA versus St. Augustine at six thirty. Talk about this this tournament. I know it's been going on for a long time and it, it just uh you know it never seems to disappoint year after year. Well the guys really um the committee the battle by the Bay committee really uh did a nice job of, of pairing this year as they do like you said for the last twenty some odd years and uh, I'm excited about all the games that they what makes me so excited, I can just go as a fan for once, and I'm just going to go and I'll watch all the games today. So I, I'm extremely excited. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a basketball junkie, uh, Atlantic City High School is the place you want to be today. I mean, so many great games. And talk about the atmosphere a little bit. I mean, you got the DJ going on over there, and, and the stands get packed. And it, it's really something that basketball fans uh, throughout South Jersey really look forward to every year. Yeah, you know what? I, I feel... Um, that it's so good for the athletes, too, because it's an opportunity to play at a great venue. And then uh, with, with all the fan support that you spoke about, I think it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing that uh, I wish every high school kid, particularly in Atlanta and Cumberland County, would experience. Yeah, I mean, I, I spoke to some of the uh, Ocean City guys last night, and they were they were just beyond thrilled to be playing in that tournament. And, and you could just see in their eyes, they, they love the atmosphere and uh, – you know, the, like you said, you got the DJ pumping music all before game, during timeouts, all that stuff, and really a, a a different atmosphere from a normal high school game for a lot of these guys. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's almost like a, a rucker up in New York atmosphere, and I think everybody brings their A game because it, it's, it's a place in which you really want to try to do your best. And uh, that game last night between Ocean City and Cedar Creek was very entertaining, I I almost got into it so much I forgot to, to get the pregame speech. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you forgot you were playing at seven o'clock. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, it, it kind of strikes me as almost like a like a basketball carnival. Like you said, it's one of those things you see sometimes in the summertime up in New York City, you know, at the playgrounds. Right. And, and uh, you know, if, if you're a basketball guy, you you got to love this weekend. And particularly tomorrow, you know, you guys are facing Pleasantville uh, as a nice – appetizer to the Super Bowl, so the, the whole weekend in general, um, just just a great atmosphere over there. Yeah, it, it really is, and again, you know, from a culture standpoint, particularly uh, when we play Pleasant Valley, it's one of the games that I definitely don't like because, you know, you can throw the rivalry out the window. Pleasant Hill is definitely having a very good year this year, so, you know, you never know how that game is going to turn out, but for, from a fan's perspective, I, I think it's a great great atmosphere and they do a great job uh put, putting on the, the boys games talking with coach gene allen of the atlantic city high school boys basketball team coach i got a little bit of advice for you on sunday send your assistants in at halftime to talk to the team and uh stay out on the floor for the pleasantville versus atlantic city uh cheer off the cheerleaders man they go at it they got all kind of costumes and really a, a great thing have you ever caught any of that or are you always in the locker room Always in the locker room, Dave. But what I can say is uh, our, our cheerleading coach works those girls unbelievable. She, they, they start, and on weekends, they come in at 6 a.m. for a month, and, and they get in top flight shape and get those routines together and the costumes. And I hate it because the, it's the longest halftime <laughs> in our history. But it's a great opportunity for those girls from both teams who put in so much work to get recognized in front of a big, a big fan base like that. So I think that just the whole, like you said, that whole day is just like a one big carnival. That's that's what I'm saying, Coach. You spend, spend five, seven minutes out on the floor, send your assistant coaches in there for the halftime speech. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm sure I'll be in the halftime saying some stuff I can't see in the radio. <laughs> so we, you're saying we can't get a live feed in there in the locker room? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, talk about this this game against Pleasantville on Sunday. I mean, obviously, you guys have had the better of them the last couple of years, but they got a real nice squad this year. Yeah, they they really do, and and they're playing well. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the Allen kid, Bridges, and Morgan, and uh, those guys are really good shooters, uh, and they can score. So, I'm I'm very concerned. I told our kids that. Uh, at the last night game, nobody cares about if we beat the high school. But if we lose to Pleasantville, we might all be, have to find new new houses somewhere else. So, <laughs> uh, you know, so the kids the kids understand the magnitude and the importance of the game. So I'm hoping that we come out and, and play as well as we did last night. Good stuff. One thirty on Sunday prior to the Super Bowl. Uh, good luck this weekend, Coach. Thanks for taking a few minutes. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thanks, Coach. Okay, bye-bye. That's Coach Gene Allen of the Atlantic City boys basketball team. Huge game tomorrow, 1.30, Atlantic City High School. Be there if you're a high school basketball fan. Going to be a great matchup.